Right then, last week we had a look at a potential player that could come in and fulfil a role for Manchester United. And we're going to have a look at another one today. And that one is going to be Tedden Menge. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of speculation currently surrounding Manchester United and the purchase of a top, top draw centre-half in Rafael Varane. If you buy Rafael Varane, what's that going to mean for some of the centre-halves at the club? Is Bayer time done? Is Lindelof time done? I can't imagine both of them sticking around to be back up. I could imagine maybe one of them sticking around to be back up, especially if you've still got the likes of Axel. you then got the likes of Mengi, potentially Will Fish, if you go a little bit further down. And you've obviously got, somehow, Phil Jones. So what does this mean for someone like Ted and Mengi? Well, Ted and's 19. He's a local lad. He's from Clayton. Um, which that alone should tell you that he needs to be in the first team. If you're from Manchester, you'll know what I mean. If you're not from Manchester, Clayton's an interesting area, let's put it like that. Um, he signed his first professional contract all the way back in September 2019, and he's played three games for the 21s in the EFL Trophy, he made his debut against Lincoln in 2019. He broke into the senior team for the first time as an unused sub in the Europa League game against Astana when loads of people got their debuts. Obviously, he was only 17 at the time. And then he made his senior debut in August 2020, coming on as a sub for Fosu Mensa against LASK. He was promoted to the first team last season uh, and ahead of the 2021 season. Uh, and he was included as a substitute for a few of the EFL games. Um, and then obviously as part of the expanded bench in the Champions League. But he didn't appear again for the first team in 2020. In February, he was sent out on loan to the Championship for Derby County. Obviously, Wayne Rooney's there, uh, and he remained there for the remainder of the season where he featured in nine games. He signed a new contract with, uh, with United back in March uh, until June 2024, given uh, the option of another year, and then he suffered an injury in April, um, which meant he returned to United early from Derby. He is big. He is athletic and strong. He has got a real defender's Vidic sort of style attitude to put your big stupid head anywhere to get on the end of something of I'm winning that ball. There's no such thing as a 50, 50 when Mengi goes in for it. He is a leader in multiple ways. There was a little spat that he had uh, with Mabry after Mabry was seen sort of smiling after we lost. Um, Mengi called him out in the comments and, by all accounts, called him out in person as well. He is an imposing figure for a teenager, and he loves Manchester United. And I think he would he would bleed to play for Manchester United. Now, his little patch that he had at Derby, he was sensational. Teenagers, as we've said many times, teenagers, especially playing for a, a club that's going to struggle in the championship is no mean feat. That's why what Jimmy Garner did was impressive. What Bellingham did was impressive. The championship can swallow up season pros. He looked like he belonged. Uh, his best game weirdly came as a right back um, where he shone a little bit of go forward, but he impressed. Rooney said to be very impressed with his performance and he's keen to try and get him back on loan next season. And in all honesty, I think that's probably going to be the best move for him. If you have a look at the stats that he got from last year, his pass completion, 85.7%. Aerial duels, one per game, 2.6. Clearances per game, 2.4. Interceptions per game, 1.1. Really strong stats for a centre-half playing in the championship. Um, this is what Ollie's had to say on him. He is a leader. He is a proper centre-back. Uh, he is one that we believe in. He's in the same age group as Mason. They grew up together. He's strong, quick, good on the ball. We've got a decent player there. Now, if Varane doesn't come in and you go with Lindelof, I think keeping him around is by far the best move. Give him somehow a dozen games or a dozen features over the course of the season and allow him to be part of the depth at centre-half. If Varane does come in and you don't manage to sell immediately one of those more senior players, well, I mean, Phil Jones, do we even count him at the moment? I don't know if we do. Then going out and having a full season. In fact, Derby are struggling that much. Derby are in, in such bad... I mean, it's a whole video in itself actually looking into the issues that Derby have got. And to be honest, I don't envy Wayne Rooney in the slightest. This is a... 
this is a lose-lose job that he's onto here. When Frank Lampard was there, Derby was spending money. Because they were spending money when Frank Lampard was there and he also got the likes of Mason Mount on loan, they were able to actually put up a bit of a fight. When those players came out, the money came out, Derby of Arsenal also had some irregularities with their accounting. They sold their stadium to their owner, put that into their books as like £40 million profit. The EFL's kind of seen their ass with them. They've got like transfer bans. They've got like uh, financial fair play regulations, which they're not going to be able to meet unless they do some creative accounting. They're in an absolute mess. They don't have enough first team players. People haven't been getting paid. Manchester United could, one, really help out Wayne Rooney. And two, actually develop some players here. Maybe the reason we've not seen Garner go out on loan to Nottingham Forest just yet is maybe they're trying to do a bulk deal where Levitt, Garner, Mengi, Laird, all those players that are on the course, maybe Galbraith, maybe Alanga. You could send half a dozen players down to Derby. Maybe you do some sort of deal where they train with you guys together four out of five days a week and then once a week they come to United so you're still keeping that contact with United the fact that they're all together means that they're going to settle a little bit easier and I just think that this would be such a, a good opportunity for for both United to help out a, a club that's really struggling to help out a club legend in Wayne Rooney but also to give these boys the best opportunity to show if you just send Mengi the chances are Derby are getting relegated this season. But if you send them Mengi and Garner, you've seen what Garner did to a relegation struggling team last season. You give them Levitt and Galbraith, now they've got a midfield. And we will find out if these lads can sink or swim because the championship is an absolute knife fight. Give them Malanga. Let's find out what he's about in, in one of the hardest leagues in the world. Is he up to the physical test? We've seen him on the weights all summer. Now... It's not all rosy for Mengi. I, I'm not here sitting saying he's, he's the new Vidic and Rio all on his own. I thought he struggled with Austin at the weekend. Um, probably typical of what he's going to come up against in the championship. Might have been a one-off, um, but it might be something for him to work on. Now, the thing is, he's 19. You don't generally get centre-halves ready to rock at 19. It's what made Rio such a, an enigma. Centre halves usually mature. I mean, what was Van Dyke doing? It was he still in Holland? Was he playing for? Was it Groningen that he was playing for? They can take a while to mature, but I believe Mengi has got the ability to do that, and I think he's got to get it through playing games, playing games at the highest level that he's able to go and play at. And I think the Championship is perfect for him at the moment because it's physical, which suits him, and I think he'll he'll learn playing against both single striker systems and two striker systems because they're still there in the championship uh, and he'll learn the moves he'll learn how to deal with aerial balls he'll he'll go to a team that wants to let him play out from the back uh, and he'll develop into a, a real real player and that for me is what needs to happen with Menge, um if Manchester United bring in Varane um, do you agree disagree let me know your thoughts and how much you rate Menge in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters.